and the world is celebrating International Women's Day. It's meant to commemorate groundbreaking accomplishments. For example, women in the U.S. recently won the right to serve on the front lines of combat. And Brazilian women have also made big strides, reaching top positions in some corporations. But Brazil's women still earn 25% less than men. Lucretia Franco reports. Daniele Povoas is a well-known lawyer in Rio de Janeiro. Her daily routine includes waking up at 6.30 in the morning to take her 14-year-old son, Rafael, to school. A single mother, she has a double shift that consumes 12 hours of her weekday. But this is a price she's willing to pay. I think any woman in Brazil needs to be the best, needs to have as a goal to be the best, to be responsible, to be determined, and to know exactly what they want in order to be successful here. At 38, Daniele owns a law firm and has 10 employees working for her. She's not alone. According to a new World Bank study, 59% of Brazilian companies have a woman among the principal owners. And while the study shows Brazilian women make up nearly 44% of the country's workforce, a woman's hour of work is still worth a fourth less than that of a man. Brazil's constitution guarantees equal rights both for men and women, and the country is ruled by the first female president ever, Dilma Rousseff. Still, there are ongoing discriminatory practices. Angela Fontes, president of the Women's Rights State Council, says that since 2009, women in Congress have been unable to win enough support from their male counterparts to pass an anti-discrimination labor law. We have some 10 percent women in Congress, so there is no interest to pass that bill on equality. As for Daniele, she knows if she was not the boss, she would have to fight cultural prejudice. It turned out well for her, but if inequality was eliminated from Brazil's job market, researchers say not only women, but the entire economy would benefit. Lucrecia Franco, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro.